Hey everybody, this is Imar Sobertu, the Sports Inquirer, and we're joined by Truth Athey from Georgia State Volleyball. Uh, Truth, before we get to specifics, how is the non-conference slate of the schedule? How, how did it go for you? And uh, overall impressions of the season so far? Yeah, I mean, we're really excited to jump into conference, but um, the first part of the season was a lot of learning for our team. Um, we came really close to some really big wins and also got a couple as well. So um, good good vibes going into conference and um, we're feeling like the preseason um, was definitely a learning experience for us and prepared us really well. You just, you had your last non-conference match at Clemson on September 15th and you dropped it three nil, but speaking with, with coach and uh, looking at the, the, the game or the match, very close set, especially that second, the first and the third set, you even were tied 16 all in the second set. So you're very competitive against them. What do you take away from that last that match as you transition in the conference play? Um, definitely that we compete can compete with some pretty good teams. I mean, we had a few things um, that we learned from that that we kind of touched up in practice this last week. And uh, I think it really set us up to uh, it was a confidence boost in the sense that we know where we stand and, and we can win some big games this year for sure. What about you as a setter and you're splitting time with Clara Lewis in that spot. Uh, but what about you this year and asserting yourself into the lineup? How has that been? Uh, and, and just getting yourself some playing time. Um, I mean, every day is a battle in practice just because we have some very competitive um, players on this team. So it, it is just a lot of hard work for everyone in every position. So that's great. It makes the competitive atmosphere for sure. Um, but it's also great being able to be out on the court and play with my team. We've got a great group of girls um, and it just is so fun to play in very intense games specifically with these girls. So I love being out there and I think that like all the hard work that we're all putting in is, is paying off for sure. And how do you do that? We work in a rotation, you're splitting time with, with the teammate, but, but you're as a setter, you have to have everyone, you're like, the pilot, I'd always say, or the, the center of the offense and defense as well. Uh, how is that for you, just putting yourself into the lineup and working with all of uh, your fellow teammates? Yeah, um, I think the connections that you can build with your teammates is really crucial, especially when you get on the court in some of those more intense situations. So being being a leader out there and being able to kind of run the offense and things like that is very important, especially in the setter position and with every lineup that gets put in. I mean, we've had some injuries and some people that have stepped up and just knowing that you can trust the people that you're playing with and that everyone here is putting in the work is really important, especially as a setter, because then you can kind of build off of that in, in close matches. And you mentioned you excited to get into conference play. You're facing Monroe uh, this weekend and Louisiana as well. You didn't see him last year. You're unfamiliar with them. And talking to Sally, this is kind of the same deal. How do you prepare for an opponent that you have not seen in a very long time, even though it is in the conference? Yeah, I think just doing your due diligence in um, looking up there, what they've got on their team, on their side of the court, and, and kind of how teams this season have already played them, going over a scouting report, and then also just focusing on our side of the net and just staying true to who we are as a team and our strengths as well, and just putting the best foot forward that we can up against any opponent, whether we've seen them and know them or, or if they're brand new. You're a tra you transferred into the program two years ago from Irvine Valley College. And you're not from the state of Georgia, which is always unique for a program that has a lot of, you know, Georgians in it. Uh, what was that like for you playing in junior college and transferring into Georgia State? And do you think that experience helped you prepare for play in a, the Sun Belt Conference? Oh, most definitely. Um, at Irvine Valley College, I had an incredible experience. The coaching staff and the team that I played with there was phenomenal. And so I think they put me in a really good spot to be able to compete at this higher level um, in this conference. And so coming in as a transfer is always new. You learn new systems, new program techniques and everything. And so it is a, it is a growth period for sure. But I think I was put up um, in a good position to be able to have success here and then also just be able to make a difference whenever I can. And you transferred during the pandemic. What was that experience like for you? Did you even, I don't know what your calendar was, but did you at least get an on-campus visit or uh, at least a, how do you, how was that process for you coming into the program 
because that was, I said, in the middle of the pandemic last year. We're still in yeah. pandemic, but a lot of different situation in 2021 as we're speaking now. Yeah, well, I actually lucked out. I did get to do an on-campus visit a couple weeks before the um, pandemic kind of shut everything down. So that was nice. I did get to come out and meet the team and the coaching staff and kind of just see what Atlanta was like. But the whole recruiting process and making trips out here for summer ball and, and just being able to play during preseason and whatnot, it was definitely a challenge. Um, and a different look last year as a season for, for me coming in here, not really having the full effect of what it was going to be like playing volleyball here. How is it this year now? You, uh, you, I'm sure you're more acclimated to Atlanta. You have classes, I'm sure, with people now. Uh, what's How's this year now? Do you feel more comfortable in oh, the most program definitely. in comparison to last year? Yes, most definitely. Uh, I've gotten to go through a full preseason, and now we've had all of our games kind of go in the flow that they normally do and, and we're able to do some of our traveling trips and um, just really get into what a, a real schedule looks like so a lot more comfortable a lot more time with the team and the coaches just kind of building relationships and and really preparing for matches for sure and I should have asked this earlier but why Georgia State I said you're uh, you're from Texas correct I'm from Colorado Co Colorado my fault no my fault. you're good you're good I, I mixed up Colorado I, I mixed up but you're from Colorado and so you went to you know a community college uh, I, but you, you're across the country in Georgia uh, why this why Georgia State and what's it been like living in the southeast after growing up in Colorado and attending college in you know western part of the country yeah, definitely very different. I'm definitely from a smaller town, lots of wilderness. So the city is a new life for me, but I think Georgia State in general just kind of presented a lot of cool opportunities, both on and off the court. I'm a finance major, so lots of businesses and things around here that I can kind of jump in on. And, and that's been a really cool experience. And also just, um, I'm an adventurous person. So getting to try something new with the city life and, and just kind of see what the other side of the country is like it has been really cool for me last thing anything you've picked up in Atlanta as far as food or culture or a lifestyle that's been uh, very interesting to you um I would say probably the food is the biggest difference uh southern southern food and, and that kind of difference is new to me for sure but we like to eat so I'm all here for it <laughs> Great. Well, appreciate. Well, truth. Appreciate the time. Thank you, and good luck this weekend against the safe travels to Louisiana. Thank you so much. Have a good one.